Yo, what's going on YouTube? Right, so I figured I'd put together a really quick guide to show you how weapon customization works in the new GTA 5, so let's jump straight to it. Okay, so throughout the course of the game there is a wide variety of different weapons you can get. Some of them you will get early on, but then some of them you will obviously get later on, so then you need kind of campaign progression for that one. But for the purpose of this I can show it to you with the sort of few weapons that I have got. So if you go to any of the gun shops located around Los Santos, and then when you walk in, you will see that there is a wall of guns at the back of the shop. If you walk up to this chap and you press right on the d-pad, you can basically initiate sort of buying ammo, weapons, upgrades, that sort of thing. So if you go and pick kind of, well before that, if you look at the back of the wall, you'll see that some of the weapons are ghosted out. They are obviously the ones that you haven't got yet, or you haven't unlocked, and obviously you'll un unlock them in time, or whenever you acquire a new weapon, then it'll be there. But the ones that are obviously solid are the ones that I have already got, or can buy. So if I go to, say, the F SMG on the right here, for example, um, when you pull it up, there's obviously the the inevitable buy ammo thing you can do, but then you can look at the upgrades as well. So for example, you can add to this one things like a silencer, a scope, an extended mag, um, flashlight, and then you know if you jump over to like the shotgun, for example, you can put you know a silencer on that, which is pretty crazy, you know, a silencer on a shotgun, but yeah, you can do it. Um, flashlight again, so you know different weapons have got different modifications, but all of them have got some kind of you know something you can do to them. The other interesting thing is if you scroll further down you can see that this seems to be kind of a running theme in games these days. People seem to love putting skins on weapons, you know, Saints Row, Call of Duty, you know, all that kind of thing. But it does look kind of cool. There's not as many um, choices in this one, but for example you've got kind of a jet black one on the SMG, a gold one and a blue and black one which looks kind of cool. So um, yeah, you can kind of, you know, you can upgrade the weapon's performance, upgrade the weapon's look and then replenish your ammo from here. Also, incidentally, it's worth mentioning that there is an achievement for fully upgrading a weapon. So, for example, the SMG that I just got, um, I basically went and bought everything for it and applied everything, and then the achievement pops up. So, that is something else that you can sort of do while you're here. You know, it's really easy. It's a really easy achievement to get. Um, but, yeah, that's basically it. That's all there is to kind of customising weapons at the moment. Obviously, it is worth checking back anytime you pick up a new weapon, because there are some different things you can put onto them. So, you know, where some weapons might have things like scopes and silencers, other ones might have, you know, extra things. So... If you find a new weapon, then drop back by the gun shop and then see what you can do. But that is pretty much it. It was only going to be a quick video, but just kind of showing you how customization works in GTA 5. So hopefully you found this helpful. As always, don't forget to like and share this video. It does really help me out. And don't forget to drop comments down below if you have any questions. But otherwise, stay tuned to the Arix Gaming Twitter, Facebook and website for all the gaming news throughout the week. And thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.